Welcome to Easy Freezer Meals. My name is Eric, and thanks for joining us because today we're gonna to be making a keto-friendly, low-carb Italian sausage and spaghetti dinner as an easy freezer meal. So what you're gonna need for this recipe is some spaghetti squash, some hot Italian sausage, and your very own keto-approved pasta sauce. I'm gonna put a link in the description box below if you don't know where to get that or if you don't feel like making it. First thing we wanna do is brown our sausage. I'll put a little bit of olive oil on a medium heat and I'm gonna get that going. And right at the last minute, I decided, let me add some onions and some celery just to beef it up a little bit. But the vegetables are completely optional. Next, I'm gonna let the vegetables saute in the very fat that's rendered from the sausage. It's gonna give them a lot of flavor. Once the onions and the celery have softened up a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of garlic. And we're gonna do that right at the very end so that the garlic doesn't burn. If you'd like to know how to make this particular sausage, check out that link in the top right hand corner or just wait till the end of the video where I'll post a link to that easy freezer meal. Once we get our garlic cooked, everything is softened, we're gonna go ahead and add our no sugar added keto friendly pasta sauce. And at this point, we're just gonna simmer it on a low heat long enough to allow all the different flavors to marry. Now that the meat sauce is finished, let's make the spaghetti. And in order to do that, we're gonna take our spaghetti squash and split them lengthwise right down the middle. I'm gonna remove all the seeds and then I'm gonna put a little bit of salt on each one of them just to sweat it out a little bit. I wanna to try to remove as much moisture as I can so that my end product isn't mushy and has a nice bite to it, a little bit like an al dente spaghetti pasta. This freezer meal is a low carb freezer meal, so you wanna make sure you exercise portion control so you don't exceed your 20 or 25 grams of carbs so that you could stay in ketosis. Once you have your spaghetti squash salted, after about 30 minutes, this is what it'll look like. It'll start to sweat out a little water. I let mine sit for about an hour, give or take. And then once uh, an hour has passed, I rinsed them really well under the faucet. And now we're gonna completely dry them with a paper towel so that we can get ready for the final step before we put it in the oven, which is olive oil. Brush each one of your spaghetti squashes with a little bit of olive oil on a dry baking sheet. You're gonna to wanna to put them face down. At this point, we're gonna bake them for roughly about an hour. So preheat your oven to about 400 degrees and then go ahead and put your spaghetti squashes in there. After about an hour, take your spaghetti squash out of the oven and this is what they're gonna look like. They should be completely soft. With a fork, you can gently start to scrape away the pulp from the spaghetti squash. And if you scrape it perpendicular to the original cut or from the right side to the left side or vice versa, you'll notice that you'll start to expose what looks like spaghetti strands, which is really cool. As you do this, just gently do them with all your spaghetti squash and you will be only left with the skin. So you can completely clean them out. And this is what that's gonna look like. And now you have lots of options. I like my particular spaghetti squash to be buttery and creamy. So I'm gonna add a little bit of butter and some seasonings. I'm gonna put some chili flakes, some cracked pepper, and a little bit of garlic salt. And then I'm gonna gently stir. You can omit the butter, you can omit the seasonings and keep it as simple or as complex as you'd like. It's time for me to plate up. So I'm gonna put my spaghetti squash down first. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spoon in my pasta sauce with my Italian sausage. And then I'm gonna take some fresh Parmesan cheese, grate that right over the top of both of them. And now my Italian sausage and spaghetti easy freezer meal low carb dinner is complete. Once I put a top on them, I'm gonna pop them in the freezer and then we're done. So let's take a peek at what one looks like when we pull it out of the freezer and we heat it up from frozen. This is my absolute favorite part of this video. So let's go ahead and do it. This has been frozen for a little while. As you can see, everything's rock solid and I'm not gonna let it thaw, although you could technically let it thaw and it'll cook a little faster. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it with some aluminum foil and I'm gonna put it in an oven that has been preheated to 350 degrees for roughly about an hour. And after an hour, this is what your dinner is going to look like. And let me just tell you right now, this smells wonderful. The fennel and the seasonings from the sausage and the sauce. We're gonna put some fresh grated Parmesan cheese and I had some basil outside. So we're gonna throw some freshly chopped basil right on top of it. And there you have it. Your keto Italian sausage spaghetti, low carb, easy freezer meal. And I can't help myself. 
I gotta take a little bite. Oh wow, that's delicious. The spaghetti squash has just the right amount of firmness. It's creamy and buttery, well seasoned. And that's how you make Italian sausage spaghetti as a low carb, easy freezer meal. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it. And if you're new to our channel, consider subscribing, clicking that notification bell. We post new videos every week on how to make easy freezer meals. We look forward to seeing you in the next one.